moved my seat. So this is my 2002 Subaru WRX Bug Eye. This is a two liter, four cylinder, turbocharged car from the factory, of course, it's a SWRX with a five speed transmission. This car's a, it's got some mild modifications, nothing too crazy. It's got a, a header, full exhaust, some kind of aftermarket muffler, I haven't really looked into it. <laughs> um, you know, intake, it's got a Cobb tuner. Uh, it does, it is currently running a, a map, you know, so it's running a tune. Um, it's been a great car overall. I've had it since 2000, I wanna say 18. Point is, it's been a little while since I've driven it myself. The clutch is uh, happy, not too heavy. Um, it's got plenty of pull, plenty of up, up top speed. Uh, obviously, compared to like a V8, this car beyond 85 90 miles an hour you'll see a you'll see a difference in performance up there but from zero to 60 as they say like out of the hole it's fantastic it's all wheel drive you know you know so there's a big impact there um it sounds fantastic it's got that subaru rumble that Subaru Burble kind of thing. We're all, it, it's a car that I've been very happy to own. Relatively low maintenance. I haven't done much besides, you know, do an oil change, replace some tires from time to time. This car does have uh, coilovers. And so those coilovers, you do get a, a lowered ride, which is nice. It is firmer. But the thing is, since it's got camber, it eats tires kind of quickly, especially the front two. Actually, you know, the back two are the ones that have even more camber. Um, so, you know, I have to replace tires more than often, but it's not anything major. I don't put expensive tires on this car anyways. Um, it currently has 206,000 miles. Uh, so up there in mileage, especially for a Subaru, especially for a boxer motor like this. Uh, I've never checked. I'm assuming it's on its original motor, but if, it, if it's on a second motor, I wouldn't exactly be surprised. Uh, I got it at 180,000 miles. When I put it that way, it's kind of nuts. Since 2018 and now, I've only put like 20,000 miles on this car. Maybe 30,000, which is pretty low uh, overall. I'll drive this thing anywhere. Uh, it's got it's got the reliability. It does have, well, it did have the two typical Subaru issues, which is uh, leaking oil. It was leaking coolant. Uh, it had boost leaks. So it was leaking everything except for gasoline it didn't have a gas leak <laughs> but i took it to a shop recently they went through it resealed a bunch of stuff and now it may have a minor leak but it's nothing compared to what it was so it's totally within reason i think um they took care of the coolant leak they took care of the oil leak and then i just need to track down some more boost leaks the car this car used to boost to about 22 pounds which is fantastic now it's boosting about 17 18 pounds so a pretty big difference when when it was doing 22 pounds you'd really feel it especially like i mentioned at the higher rpm band if you ever get a wrx especially one of this era they sell them in automatics do not do not go near one of these if it's automatic why because this car outside of boost this car is a dog it feels like it's making 60 horsepower outside of boost you know so when it's between 1000 and 3000 rpms if it's at 2000 rpms and i gun it nothing happens it's kind of funny <laughs> but yeah nothing happens uh so you need the manual transmission so you can then downshift into the appropriate gear getting those higher rpms back and actually being able to move and actually be able to, being able to go uh, i can only imagine if i had an automatic uh i've talked to people with the automatics they said it's a dog it's a very slow transmission you gun it it thinks about it it'll finally downshift and by that point 
you know, it's already over. Um, so yeah, these cars are still accessible, just like the other car I purchased. I got this one for a screaming deal, but that was a one-off thing. It wasn't typical, you know? Uh, but these, for a very long time, there were three to four to maybe $5,000 cars. Um, maybe five grand. But now they're kind of coming up. in value especially like the lower mileage ones not this one but a car with like let's say 120,000 miles you can see those selling for anywhere between seven eight nine and if it's very clean ten thousand dollars if you get the uh, 2003 four five WRX's those are called the uh, blob eyes which is a super super similar car they just change the headlights a little minor things here and there those blob eyes with low mileage can go into the 20s. So 20,000, which is pretty nuts. They have a slightly bigger motor. Instead of a two liter, it's a 2.5. So, you know, some mild stuff. They got a six speed transmission instead of the five speed, which, yeah, if you got two of these cars that are identical or, or you know, an 02 compared to an 04, 05, if the price is within one or 2K, uh, go for the 05. Six speed transmission, 2.5 liter instead of a two liter interior you get that really cool Subaru blue I'm sure you've seen it if not I'll post a quick pic of it that very nice interior that they have um, and they retain more value so it is the right way to go for one or two K but uh yeah I mean this car's been absolutely no no trouble <laughs> knock on wood right I'm gonna say it and then something's gonna pop uh, they call the, these transmissions are notoriously weak uh, they say that the transmission's made of glass they call it like a glass transmission and there's a funny Subaru video of this guy. He's driving his car with someone else who's recording it. And uh, the driver's like, yeah, the transmission's been great. I've never had any trouble. And as they're driving, they're ripping on it. Third gear goes. How's the trans holding up? Fine, man. I don't know how. <laughs> yeah, they uh... gear disappears you can't get third anymore just one two and four you know and so yeah like I mentioned I, I have not babied this car by any means and yeah it's been I've never had any uh, trouble with that which is great but maybe just luck um, but yeah the car's been fantastic it's got four doors the back seats are tiny as hell it's it's to fit people in the back seat it's possible but it's yeah it's pretty rough um, let me scoot into here you can hear you can probably hear it bogging. Uh, that's at 1500 RPMs giving it gas in fourth gear, and it's already bogging because it's out of that boost range. Out of that boost range, you're gonna get nothing from this car. Um, once it hits boost, which is for me right at 3000 RPMs, it'll actually wake up and you start to get some, some power out of it. Um, I'm in second gear at 2000 RPMs. This is gonna be foot to the floor so you can see that lag. see that that boost lag you know um, the tuner says that it boosted up to he's moving my gauges too 18 pounds 18 and a half pounds um, which is like I mentioned for this car that's fine it'll, it'll make it last forever which is good but yeah between 18 and 22 pounds it's a big difference you know doesn't seem like it would be but it is you know I, I remember driving it versus then then versus now As you can hear, obviously, I shifted a little slow, but that's me going easy on it. Some people, they, they hit the clutch and they rip it into second gear, hit the clutch and ram it into third. I'm like, that's why these transmissions don't survive. Oh, the transmissions suck. I get it, you should be, you should be able to beat on the car a little bit, but I mean, you gotta meet it halfway. You gotta give it a chance, you know? <laughs> so anyways, yeah, you, you treat the car with respect, it'll treat you with respect. It'll save your wallet. Knowing your limit for the vehicle is fantastic. 